Okay, being on black folks, and basically just peeking into uh, scientifical, and we got headlines, and uh, this is what our, all the rage has been. But like I say, I think Saturn is where everything's at. Any moons around Saturn are the ones that have only thing that looked ever gave us pictures uh, through their atmosphere down onto the ground with little probes. Give us pictures back that the idea that the moons around Saturn are the most habitable that we've seen so far. Most important, Titan. Okay, that we have all these other headlines breaking lately because basically space is a hot topic these days. Okay, you're either into porn, drugs, politics, or science. Basically, truth though. Okay, 100% truth data and the people that do compliment me at my site all the time I appreciate it and the ones that use the backward talk to compliment because the idea there would be nobody waste their time to make comments like that if they didn't worry about their handlers and I emphasize their handlers because the idea they piss their handlers off they are nobody okay they are a piece of poop being a black 24 7 100% thousand percent true factual data all the time so we're going to take a little uh, pay attention to this, okay? But I'm not even going to look at the article on that. Most importantly, let's check this out. It's important that we actually have found an elusive frog found after 62 years. That's a good idea. That's factual. Frogs are a very important part of our DNA makeup here on Earth. Frogs are very important to eat bugs and insects and crap them out and put their remnants back into the ground and things come out. Okay, if people don't know much about anything, if you don't look at this and f that this is good information, okay. So 2011 they found this, and now we're just hearing about this now. So hopefully they bred it, or have figured out how to, because uh, I believe it was legal still to clone uh, So anyway, it's good to see that this stuff gets found. Uh, no pictures so far, so I'm sharing a story, so that's a good story, okay? Story so far, let's see some facts. This is something that's been theory for a long time, don't know if they've proved that. We're going to go take a look at this, uh, and once again, these headlines here, so go check all this stuff out. And ScienceDaily.com is a good one to go to, basically. This is fresh stuff. So let's go take a look at this. So anyway. Strongly challenge current theories. Okay. So don't be afraid of having a theory. Especially if it's so positive that it basically is there. Okay. So anyway, Pulsar first is important because we figured that that's what that's going on with that volcano over in Japan. Electrical, ladies and gentlemen, Bino's on it all the time, okay? 
and gamma radiation, okay? And we do know that basically what's going on over in Japan at that one volcano and a lot of other volcanoes, basically Hawaii is waking up, warming up a little bit, and earthquakes and uh, earthquakes and volcano activity. Anyway, this stuff is way the hell out, but the light energy does hit Earth here. Yeah, the Crab Nebula is in the Milky Way. Okay. So no matter what, folks, the truth is bleeding out because the idea that when we have a volcano over in Japan getting pulses, gamma rays, basically. Now, I'm not saying that this Crab Nebula one is the one that's doing the volcano in Japan. But then again, I haven't looked into it yet because I wasn't worried about it. I was waiting for <coughs> things to bleed out. Okay, so the idea that got uh, light's got to travel through space. Uh, we know how to calculate that. Uh, we're going to find out what has been lighting up that volcano over in Japan. Okay, besides, but it could be accumulation of the radii that are in the air in Japan that are helping out the radii from outer space. Okay, i.e., this is not the only one that puts off gamma rays. Okay, remember the one that we that know that the African telescope over there or if I'm wrong on that, the Chilean one. Basically the telescope, I think it was French, and that basically it found 300 rotations f faster than the rotation of the sun of a star. And also that the idea that NASA sat there and said that it only rotates 100 times faster than the sun. Well, I believe the one that says straight out that it went, that it's rotating 300 times the speed of the rotation of the sun. Because NASA seems to have political roadblocks in truth that comes out from objects in space, i.e. the interview with the uh, NASA, or basically the astronauts on the space lab, okay, the International Space Lab, basically shaking his head, not making any comment about anything that they see out of any windows besides looking at Earth. They're so magnetized to Earth to look at Earth. They don't ever look at the other windows and look out into space. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Whatever. Hey, whatever. Can't put words in your mouth, right? So, exploding dinosaur hypothesis implodes. You can go look at that. Doesn't really matter. They're not around anymore. But we do have a frog that was found. It's the first time we've seen a frog around for 62 years. Okay. So, Earth is very, uh, it's a very, very small world, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Just weren't allowed to look around there. Now they did. Okay. Black hole uh, dust and gas soon after Big Bang. Okay. Remember what we've been showing you on the sun of the sure a bang? We sure heard that on the recording of the sun when it usually sounds like a drum roll and then it goes bang like a bunch of steel banging again out in space. Banging together like a bunch of steel out in space. Okay. Uh, black hole dust and gas soon after Big Bang. Okay. So let's check that out. All right, so remember, cutting edge, always on top of everything. We got March 27th here, and it's the 28th today. So sorry I'm a day behind, but I didn't get in here and take a look. So basically, we got to remember that what's going on up by the sun is pressuring a lot of stuff to come out of the uh, data, scientific research, and get into papers real fast and get publicized instead of being hidden away for a little bit of well we think this and we think well because we found this and we found this and here we go with communications again <laughs> anyway looking on out into space and actually I think this might even well it's another anyway they get to be because they basically they're studying and they're finding something out to get it done they're finding it Ooh, look at that word, folks, and I wasn't even looking for it. Supergiant, what's going on? Supergiant, 
quasars, astrophysics, stellar evolution. What's going on in the supergiants with the sun, ladies and gentlemen? Bino has been telling you about that. So anyway, we'll maybe pop. If we've got enough time, we'll pop in and take a look at that. But basically, I just go through this, and you can put this on big screen or small screen, whatever you want to do. But big screen always works better, and you can freeze it, okay? Because I I probably go through the info real fast, but it saves you having to look for it, and then you can back up and pause your screen and read it. And I I, I think you know enough that when I'm going up and down, so okay. And I think this is a fresh story here too. Uh, I don't know if I got a date on this, but we could square through this and come up. It doesn't really matter. It's just info on the super giants. So I've been telling you about them. So super giants exist. And basically, we can flop over here a little bit and give you a little bit more. There's one picture of one colliding galaxy in 2006. So stuff's going on out there in space. The Hubble's been showing us, that, but everybody thinks that they're fantasy shots. They're not. They're real porno shots of outer space. So. Go back down some more of this super giant information here. And then uh now basically there you got photospheric temperature and then spectral, okay? And then we got cooler giants, which is a red giant. Blue supergiant stars. Remember, a blue flame is always hotter, folks. We know that. Okay. I.e., check out the new engine that the president and the people from G, I'll give you one initial, and then there's another one, star, G dot star dot. Okay. So we got some new motors coming out. Basically, they're already out. They're flying the damn things. So let's check this out. So if you see. And remember, you got to look that up and convert this over to K because basically Kelvin. So. Twenty times the size of the sun. Sixty thousand suns added together. So it's warmer and basically look to the dirty thirties a little bit, but basically also the temperature verification variations in the daytime between what we're getting for the highs in certain areas and then to the lows in the evening and so forth and so on. But no matter what, we have watched my videos, Yes, Be No Black. Uh, you watch Yes, Be No Black, and you will understand that the idea that, factually, we have way more than one sun out there, ladies and gentlemen. And science knows it, and other stuff has to catch up to fact. 100%, 1,000% fact that there is way more. And we've already known, you've already known years ago, the stars are stars, stars are stars, the sun is a star, and there's way more than one sun out there, okay? People need to grasp it and relax and hold on. And we need to start letting these scientists talk and not be hushed up by politicians, power, money, and control. Oh, geez, how did this facts and truth get in here? What happened here? Oh, my gosh. Who put the facts and truth in here? Hmm. 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 Well, it's got to be true or it wouldn't be on the internet, right? Because they'd have to take it down. Especially since they took down what I was researching yesterday. Which I somewhat already knew about. High school. Hmm. Interesting. Younger brother of older brother. It's supposed to be dead. Okay. Facts 24 7. 
anyway, 